Can you see this crap, guys? Crypto is finally going mainstream. Congratulations on your portfolio. What is happening on Solana currently? If you are new to the internet, this what was happening here in 2005, 2007, 2010. Good old days, right? Crazy stuff, just crazy. On this channel, we talk about narratives before they would actually occur. Because the main reason how you make money in crypto, you buy when no one is talking about something, and then when everyone is talking about it, you sell. This is how you make money. You are not making money in crypto by buying something that everyone is talking about already, and you pretty much won't have anyone to sell to. You are the exit liquidity if you are buying something that everyone is already talking about like real world assets at this stage for example right but i do believe that long term this thesis with the influence of blackrock should be doing very very well just don't become a community member in the meantime right let's actually talk about something that was moving silently that was not showing us crazy percentages let's actually talk about the narrative the sector that i think should be doing quite well quite soon i'm speaking about gaming we definitely see several tokens in gaming moving in silence things that are connected to ethereum imax beam they were definitely surging up but our low caps, the stuff that we are in currently, they are not showing a lot of movement. We should have our gaming bull run stage 2. Next, leg up. They have been consolidating for so, so much time. Something should be happening quite soon. And as well, we do have a couple of crazy launches in gaming in upcoming two months. We do have a pretty interesting situation for Alex as well. You might ask, Stan, but we're going down. The market is correcting. Why are you talking to us about some tokens that would be pumping? Because this is something you have to do in order to make money on this market. You need to buy stuff when everything is correcting. This is the only way how you would be making money in this market. You might say gaming, it's that, no one is talking about it. This is where you need to be focused. This is when you need to buy. I do expect several catalysts for the ecosystem to come up in a coming couple of months. I do expect search of Avax still that should be doing quite well for gaming as well. In terms of the current market situation, we are definitely bleeding down right now. We are going into the weekend and weekends there are usually also slow bleeds as well. Let's see if the situation will be changing in April. I would say that the next week is very, very important. We might start surging up like crazy from Monday. And at the same time, we might just continue bleeding till we'll be entering April. And it's very, very interesting that these things are happening when S&P 500 just surging up, showing new all-time highs. Eventually, Bitcoin will be catching up and we would be seeing our movement as well. The goal is not to get liquidated by that time and buy on the deep currently. It's very, very interesting because Coinbase application on App Store became 250 application one more time. And at the top of Euphoria pretty much was 49s. So, so crazy. And we can still see that fear and greed is 75 at this stage. Let me ask you a question. Are you greedy right now? Do you actually feel fear? Who is greedy at this stage? Show me this person. I personally feel just a little bit of fear. I would like you to respond in the comments. I would ask whether or not you are feeling fear or greed at this stage. This thing definitely does not show properly the overall sentiment of the marketplace. I'm feeling the sentiment myself. I feel like a lot of people are in a lot of fear currently. And charts, they definitely show this as well. Because charts are going down. People are selling their positions in expectations to buy back lower. Sure, this is something that you do in the bull market, right? So let's actually go through the list of 11 gaming altcoins. I will show you specifically where I think they might be going in this cycle and I will provide you with a full overview and analysis from my end. And overall, in terms of the gaming market structure, as well. Very, very interesting part of crypto that is kind of neglected at this stage, but it's very, very bullish. It makes me bullish. You need to counter trade the sentiment of the market. When we were at the top, when I had close to seven figures in my boba bag, I felt fear. I was so, so stressed. Right now, I'm so calm, man. You can't even imagine how calm I am. You need to counter trade the sentiment on the marketplace and teach your body and teach yourself. Teach your psychology as well to counter trade the narrative of the market we have these altcoins at this stage you might say that we don't have a lot of low caps right 
but we will go through some of the low caps and it's very very important to understand that most of the low caps which are good ones from this cycle they should be doing quite well we need to understand what are the catalysts that we actually have for larger tokens as well let's actually start with imax immutable x great great token from the previous cycle ethereum layer 2 it's actually largest ethereum layer 2 did you know this they are providing infrastructure for gaming they also have nft marketplace i still hold a bunch of old nfts from the previous cycle on immutable x marketplace let's actually see if closer to the peaks of this cycle they will appreciate in value just because of the fact that things will become so so crazy market cap is at 3.7 billion at this stage with a fully diluted of 5.4 billion the main question we want to ask is what type of upside this thing actually still have and following the chart of the market cap we see that in market cap we already 2.5 x larger than the highs of the previous cycle and that's something that you need to understand from your end because some people might be telling you wow it was a nine bucks we are surging higher market cap is already three times larger than it was at the previous cycle so so crazy you need to understand these things it's very very important for your investment strategies as well right now mutable x is being viewed as blue chip gaming token if you don't want to buy any gaming you just want to buy mutable x it definitely moves the same as ethereum because this pump this one we saw with the pump of ethereum which is very very interesting in the first place so it's kind of better gaming play in connection to ethereum as well they're based in the us they have crazy team they have a bunch of games that they will be onboarding into the platform so it's a very very stable pick i would say it might be one of the most interesting picks from current existing ethereum layer 2s at this stage despite the fact that it actually the largest one just because it's specialized just because it's focused and the narrative where it actually focuses in is very very appealing for retail as well a bunch of retail shirts they would be led to gaming narrative to this slaughterhouse in the big bull market they would be just going into slaughterhouse like shirts of sheep and cows where their money will be taken exactly the same thing that happened to me in the last cycle right 5.5 billion fully diluted market cap at this stage i would say that the final market cap of this thing heavily depends on how well gaming will be performing i do think it actually a very very appealing narrative for retail we have largest influencers speaking specifically about gaming which definitely helps us to understand that a bunch of retail they would be led into this narrative and the same guys they would be heavily taking profits i would say that conservatively i would want to put it at three to five x but it can easily be doing as high as five to ten x so i would say let's put it at five x currently because we do expect that we will have larger inflows into the marketplace we will have more money in crypto and this would be the safest heaven for people to invest into gaming that don't understand anything about gaming in the first place next thing is decentraland old gaming project from the previous cycle connected with the metaverse was doing crazy crazy numbers i think right now it's actually being run by a dao and if you hold this thing you need to understand what is happening you need to understand what is your upside what is your downside as well let's actually check out what was happening in let's actually check out what was happening in the lows of october we were here then we dumped and then we were at the lows during all this time the gaming was surging and showing our first leg up during the start of this bull market all right then we searched up and right now we're basically at 2x from the loss of october and i can definitely tell you that there is very very small amount of people who were able to get into the central land at this loss i definitely see this as the token of the previous cycle there are a bunch of older backholders that are in crazy negative profits losses at this stage and they will be dumping this thing and they will be creating this crazy crazy resistance because they want to sell this at zero which is actually a very very wrong mind frame to have if you're holding some token and you understand that it's old probably none of the things will be happening for this token right you need to understand what the opportunity cost is because it's a very very comfortable and convenient mind frame i would be holding till it will break even and then i will sell and then i will re reposition listen to me sell now reposition into something new with better pumpamentals with a higher chance to pump sell now buy ethereum 
you would still be doing your 2 to 3 to 4 to 5x just with a better chance. However, these all the projects they usually are running in the alt season because we do also need to understand the logic of the marketplace. When we have alt season, we have huge FOMO in people that missed out, in people that are not exposed into the marketplace. Therefore, they're looking in altcoins, in narratives that, that they know and they see did not pump yet. Therefore, they're buying into them and they start to move, they start to pump as well. You have to be very, very careful. If the token is moving less than Bitcoin in the first place, it's weak token. You don't want to bet on weak horses here. Narrative of the metaverse is quite dead at this stage. Although I think during this bear market at certain stage, it will definitely be revived and we might be actually seeing several legs for metaverse narrative as well. Just the fact that this token is older cycle, I do think that the central end might eventually be underperforming BTC this cycle as the token of the older cycle ran by the DAO fully diluted is very very close to market cap so there are no interested parties at this stage to pump this stuff because they dumped their bags already they dumped their bags right here on the holders this is liquidity creation this is capitulation and this is they were dumping right here in this area speaking of the market cap very very interesting that the market cap was way larger in the previous cycle all right moving forward we have echelon prime this is the token that i actually was talking about quite a lot on the channel i wanted to buy i think at seven bucks right but i did not i was waiting for a correction this is the lesson that you actually might want to have on the bull market as well right now it's at 23 bucks already market cap is half a billion with fully diluted at 2.6 billion at this stage it's new token of new cycle so pretty much market cap is the same as the price of the token as well it has a pretty interesting narrative because it has combination of narratives of gaming and ai at the same time so it's almost as good as meme coin but essentially there is nothing better than a meme coin and there is actually a difference between meme coin and shit coin most of the meme coins on solana they are shit coins right and meme coins on ethereum like mog like pepper like bobo they are meme coins in the first place and meme coins not shit coins meme coins are outperforming the whole cycle each and every project you can be listening to my gaming video all the time and just you know making notes and things like that but you would never understand that the most profitable thing that you can only do sell all of your portfolio all of your gaming tokens all of your altcoins and buy pepper and you will outperform you will do better than the current portfolio that you would essentially have but you would probably understand this closer to the end of the cycle once it would become obvious right now you would be sitting in the current tokens and things like that and myself i do also sit in all these tokens all these layer twos all these vcs pump and dumps i'm longing suing and things like that but i am very very close to understanding that i should probably focus I should probably sell everything and reposition my portfolio and only have blue chip meme coins nothing else and this is how i would be ultimately outperforming on this market this is it this is the only option that i see to outperform obviously if you want to be safe if you want to be safe you want to be in stocks you don't want to be here right Echelon Prime, half a billion at this stage, very, very nice combination of narratives, a bunch of influencers are talking about this thing as well. Um, new token of this cycle, 5 to 10x, 10 to 20x, let's actually think, 10x is 5, 6 billion, well, it's very, very hard, 5, 5 6 billion, I would want to put it somewhere 7, 8x from the current levels, I would is quite optimistically conservative. For this token just because of the combination of narratives but i would want to be a little bit conservative in these estimates as well moving forward we have apecoin very very interesting situation i actually was told by someone to take a bit of the profit or close my loan at 2.6 level i was entering at 1.4 right and right now we are on a crazy correction to 1.84 already very very interesting but essentially these are long-term loans for me i'm not a trader i'm investing i don't understand that most of the outcomes in this market you're actually getting by holding positions from the start of the cycle till the end of the cycle and my entry point is very very nice and with 3x leverage i think my liquidation is under a dollar and under a dollar is pretty much a new all-time low 
for this token. 1.4, yeah, so I was entering somewhere there, very, very close to the lows because lows were at one bucks, right? So Ape token is the coin of new cycle. It pretty much launched at the end of the previous cycle. And the main reason, the main thing for me with Ape coin is the fact that half a billion dollars, 500 million, was invested into this token. Therefore, I do understand that they would most likely be pumping this thing up. Most likely, they will be looking to pump this thing up to actually make ROI on this token as well. Speaking of its out performance as well, in October it was pretty much dead and at the highest it was at 2.6 bucks. So pretty much had done 2.6 access from the lows, which is very, very low for gaming token in general, especially over new cycle. I just think that we might be seeing some things happening with ApeCoin and I'm willing to hold a little bit more. I would probably be holding at least till May, June of this year and then making a decision. Probably I would just continue holding till the end of the cycle as well. Or maybe at a certain point I would just sell all the crap that I have, all the altcoins, just buy meme coins and outperform everyone on this marketplace. This is what I will do, right? I believe you understood the main thesis. And we have a situation that fully diluted is also very, very close to the current market cap. And it's also quite interesting that the market cap there was way larger than right now. So when people are saying that, wow, we might be reaching previous all time high with this market cap. Yes, it might be happening, but you know, you collapse some not very, very good things are happening with the NFT and with the organization currently as well, but they do have a bunch of money. They were able to do some crazy, crazy things in the previous cycle. Therefore, they might be doing something else as well, because you need to bet on people that achieved success already. It's way, way safer from this point of view. And I do think that market essentially appreciates. I would actually put ApeCoin at 3 to 5x, uh, but obviously before the central end. Next thing we have is Pixel. Pixel is a new token of new cycle. I was longing it from 0.5, I think, which is a very, very nice entry point. So I will be continue longing it as well. I am in a nice profit at this stage already. As you can see, I am in $11,000 profit and I took 9K already as realized panel essentially. So I am just continue to holding this thing and I also took out some margin that's why my liquidation is quite close but if we will be coming closer to something like this I will probably just add the margin back into this thing. I do like the fact that it's a new project of new cycle at the same time we do have to understand that fully diluted is quite large and I mostly would see this as a benefit essentially because VCs they would be looking to pump this thing up because they need to create liquidity in order to take profits for their tokens essentially and right now we see that the market cap is at half a billion at this stage and the game is pretty nice they actually have a working product a working game it works very very nicely as well it's kind of similar to DeFi kingdoms from the previous cycle and DeFi kingdoms was doing crazy numbers during the gaming surge up as well 10 to 20x well that's only if it would get a larger adoption size from this point of view. I would like to put it 5 to 10x just to be conservative here, but I do think I'm quite bullish on this project. I do think it would be showing some numbers. Next project we have is Sandbox. Sandbox is not showing a lot this cycle this far. It's actually pretty similar to Decentraland. And last cycle they were doing crazy partnerships with Snoop Dogg. They have a platform that I think they were not able to release yet. They have some alpha, beta versions and things like that. We definitely see that fully diluted is 1.9 billion at this stage. And we definitely see that they were way larger at the peak of the previous cycle. 11, 12 axis higher and the market cap was way larger as well. And with this thing you need to understand one thing as well because if you're in the process of making money, you're still hungry, you want to build stuff, you want to do something, right? If you dumped on your holders already, and if you have tens of millions of dollars right now, you would probably not be working at the same pace, you would not probably be so energetic about work, about the things that they're doing. And I think that this is something that might be happening with Sandbox and in general with a bunch of older projects as well. It's very, very important for the founders not to be rich at this stage. If the founders are rich from the previous cycle, they might be doing something, but most likely these altcoins, they would essentially underperforming 
largest alts on the market ethereum bitcoin and things like that 0 0.64 64 cents at this stage well i have to put it somewhere here 3 to 5x i think it will be underperforming ethereum and i just like it better than decentraland because like charts and things like that they look very very nice because graphics and things like that is definitely better than the one that we see in decentraland right next we have x infinity very very interesting because i know people that were making 5 million out of 275 dollars invested into x infinity and they were only able to take profit in on one of, of, of that 5 million right crazy crazy thing that was happened with x infinity in the last cycle if you've seen it people in philippines they were making more than their parents on the regular jobs and they were just basically getting flooded and playing x infinity and just doing crazy numbers there as well we see that the market cap was larger at that level right now it's definitely lower and we see that fully diluted is 2.6 and the whole market cap is 1.4 at this stage so maybe it actually got injection of vc capital in the bear market just to pretty much play the whole game one more time to dump on retail because the thing that vcs are doing in this market they're dumping because in other case they would most likely be in jail right to dump on retail in very very short time frame and i would say it's actually kind of bullish that fully diluted is almost two times larger than the current market cap there are definitely people still playing this game and the very very interesting things with these games is that the one that would succeed the most is the one that would be making the most money to people who are playing this game and the game that would be making the most money will most likely be just the shittiest ponzi's of all of them right i think this is what x infinity was in the previous cycle it's going to be very very interesting who of the founders who of the teams who of the vcs would eventually decide to turn their game into shittiest ponzi and maybe once it would be happening once the market cap of this shittiest ponzi would be surging up like crazy we would start seeing other games following this first example in the first place and essentially changing their tokenomics changing the structure in order to make it more like a ponzi because everyone is looking to make money on this market they're not developing these games because they love gaming and things like that well the fact that we have fully diluted valuation larger than the current market cap at least two times i would want to put x infinity 5 to 10x but at the bottom at the end of the whole thing i do believe that all the projects definitely have advantage from the point of view that a lot of people know about them and it seems like vcs are still looking to cash out from this thing because only 52 percent at this stage are unlocked of the whole circulating supply for the token next thing we have is heroes of mavia so there are a lot of talks that heroes of mavia would be x infinity of this cycle i'm kind of rethinking the thesis that i have on this game because i'm kind of coming closer to the fact that no one cares about the game right the thing that will be able to give away more money so people will be able to make more and more and more money more people will join so classic ponzi the whole crypto is a ponzi in the first place right the thing that will turn itself to largest ponzi will succeed despite the game triple a backers vcs all this thing the thing that will turn into largest ponzi will win on the marketplace it will attract the bunch of liquidity and after that all this liquidity might be going into games underneath because we do remember in the previous cycle x infinity started to surge up i think around may june maybe and we had gaming all season starting and kicking off in october right so definitely was some time where people were farming x infinity and once they made a bunch of profits from there because people are greedy right they started to reposition these profits into other games and they essentially created this gaming bull run because of this right but we did not have the same quality of ponzi as x infinity and it, it does not depend on the game in the first place it only depends on the fact how ponzi is structured in the first place I might be a bit bearish from the point of view of how Mave is structured as a Ponzi because I think that Ponzi structure of this thing might be a bit weak and from the point of view of the fact that team launched the product first and only then they launched the token we definitely can understand that maybe these guys are actually on the good side right maybe they do want to change something develop something do something great 
and that's why they might not be turning into this large Ponzi. If people are making money in Mavia right now, it's definitely bullish. But from the point of view, from the fact that the token is not surging up highly at this stage, I don't think that a lot of people are essentially making a lot of money with Mavia at this stage. And as mentioned, the largest Ponzi in gaming will eventually win. Not thinking about any gameplay, any trailers, <laughs> doesn't make sense at all. We do have only 12% of circulating supply for Mavia at this stage. Therefore, we do understand that it's very, very easy to pump the price of this token up. And this is that they would need to create liquidity. They will need much more liquidity to be able to take profits on this thing eventually. 10x, conservatively, I would put it at 10 to 20x at this stage because the market cap is quite low at this stage. Merit circle. Beam. Very, very interesting thing because it's kind of this better play on Ethereum and on AVEX as well because they have their own subnet with their own blockchain, with their own token and things like that. 1.6 billion at this stage, 2 billion in general. It's more like... Um, infrastructure play so it's definitely safer from the point of view that it, it is infrastructure play there are a bunch of games my better for beam is rainy studio which i actually hold which i also might be thinking to sell to just reposition into meme coins and forget about all this ponzi because meme coins not shit coins will eventually outperform them anyway right 1.6 billion market cap at this stage already imx is like what 4 billion right well, I would put it 5 to 10x before IMX, just because it's lower in the market cap. Might be still doing well, because we have huge backing from Alex Becker, from Neo Tokyo as well. They will definitely be screaming and talking about this project because they were buying it very, very low. Therefore, I do believe that they will be attracting a bunch of retail into this thing eventually. And capitalizing heavily taking their money from them right super i do like super because it's highly connected to an influencer and in general it's highly connected to influencers as well a lot of influencers they're essentially talking about this token because they have allocations they were accumulating they were buying this thing they will continue to talk about this thing so it's a very very nice source of attraction for retail as well a lot of retail they will be moved into this thing they will be slaughtered like sheep in super as well i like these things i do like to understand the manipulation and i do like to play this thing as well they have gaming infrastructure they have nice teams nice people working on the whole thing but most people are looking to make money in the space you should not be fooling yourself market cap is half a billion Fully diluted is 1 billion. Very, very interesting. I thought that the situation for super was, I think I heard it somewhere, that fully diluted is very similar to current market cap. Maybe I'm not an expert in tokenomics on, on this thing at this stage. I do think it's going to do very, very well because all of the influencers, gaming influencers, they would be talking about this thing moving forward. 5 to 10x, 10 to 20x. Mm, I would probably want to put it 10 to 20x, but you have to understand that I'm not very conservative here. Maybe I am overestimating the power of the influencers. I would probably be more confident to put it at 5 to 10x but somewhere at the start right because 10x i do think it might actually be doing 10x because people would just be directed to buy super because super is undervalued at this stage last two picks shrapnel and playable they're actually quite connected and they actually might play around avalanche ecosystem Regarding shrapnel, we do hear all the things that there are crazy VC unlocks and they're eventually dumping and things like that because the current market cap is 70 million and fully diluted is 14 times larger, which is just crazy in the first place if you would ask me. But it might be a nice better play on AVEX and at the same time, the game is pretty nice from the graphics point of view, so it will definitely be attracting people as well. One more time, winning project. It's not going to be decided based on graphics, based on teams. It will be decided on how well the Ponzi is structured. How well early holders are actually making money based on new people that are coming into the project. Based on the fact that the market cap is quite low, but fully diluted is 800 million at this stage. 
10 to 20x probably before super because market cap of super is quite large as well last but not least is playable playable is at 18 million market cap at this stage however fully diluted is also 10 times larger the main reason for that is because there are a bunch of people who are holding notes so they are set up in a very very similar way to gala to the way how gala was set up in the previous market I actually want to show you a bit of technical analysis. I was never showing this before on this channel, right? So we have this support here, right? We have this trend here. And what is forming here, guys? Can you see it? We'll probably go somewhere like maybe here, then here, then here, then boom. This is, I think, what will actually be happening with bull. What my tech analysis essentially shows me with this token in the first place with this gaming studio on AVAX blockchain. They have a bunch of games, they have their own blockchain as well. They're very, very, very low cap. I'm expecting for it to pump in the AVAX season as well because it was consolidating for quite some time. I think it's already almost 3x down from the highs, right? Which is around 70, 60%. I was personally entering around 005. So I'm down like 20% at this stage. I won't be looking to add a bit more on the dip. Maybe at this level 0035, if you would essentially be there. And I think we might actually see this token at these levels, but it was consolidating for quite some time. It is a better play around AVAX and around gaming as well. I do think that this thing might be doing very, very well. And the market cap is very, very low. And I think setup like Gala might be very, very bullish in the full bull market as well. 30 axes for playable, it would be like how much from 20 million market cap to 600 million market cap right and at the same time fully diluted would be 6 billion that's a bit optimistic but i would still like to put it here just because of the fact the market cap is at 18 million at this stage and we have to know one thing with people who are holding notes they are often selling the tokens that they are receiving from them holding notes closer during the times when the token is correcting and usually through the pumps they are not doing that and due to the fact that there are a bunch of people holding playable notes community should be strong as well therefore it should be attracting people into this thing as well they also have a playable game at this stage and i think generally long term with the avax beta and gaming and connections to Neo Tokyo, they might be doing very, very well as well. Well, these are my picks, these are my analysis, and we're specifically speaking about this narrative because it's kind of dead, right? No one is talking about it. And following our chart right here, because it's very, very simple, but this actually might be happening. What is the date here? It's 10th of May, right? So it's in like 1.5 months from now. I do expect that somewhere during this time we would be getting this pump and we definitely can see a support right here as well that, that we touched three times as well if btc will essentially break through this current support for btc which is around 62k i think this thing might be breaking down as well and then it will have these liquidity levels as well which i don't think we should be going lower here i do think that we are very very close at this stage to turn back up and continue to search moving further moving up on this thing as well well let's gamble 213 members right now generate 180 is the winner this one very very close to the guy who won already 106 second time winner very very nice and last but not least 111 beautiful number guys i know i'm a bit late with me sending you results of the giveaway but you should be seeing it quite soon as well probably on this weekend i would essentially send it to everyone who's waiting for it yet thank you very much for this video i hope you liked it please let me know do you feel fear or greed at this stage it would be in the first comment under this video feel free just to comment fear or greed very very interesting because i do think that most people actually feel fear at this stage right thank you and i will see you tomorrow awesome weekend ahead my friend